How's it going guys? Welcome back to more Atomic Crops. This is very much intended to have been a one-off episode yesterday, but they sent out a mass email from, from the publisher to everyone who they had given this early preview to. And if you actually look at like the bottom corner here, it'll say development build and things like that. That was not meant to be the build that everyone was playing. That is not the build that everyone's going to have access to if they purchase the early access version. Which, remember, you can do September 5th. It'll be 50% 5-0 off on that launch date. But I, I felt like if I'm going to show off this game, share what it has to offer and everything, I can't really say that I did it justice when I played the wrong build. And so, you know, it's things like that happen. Simple mistake. I, I'm, I, I don't mind playing more of the game to, to show it off. Immediately, there's like more story and things going on here. A little bit of like an actual tutorial happening. And he's gonna leave us to it. That's the end of the tutorial. Oh, big explosion. Whoa, okay then. Huh. So now the the new game and change character and everything is actually completed. It's not just like a bunch of missing assets. There is a tutorial that you can actually do that actually teaches you some of the basics of the game and everything like that. Uh, very handy when you're first starting out. I'm not going to bother with it since we kind of had a, a trial by fire previously. Instead, we can just grow, grab our helicopter, jump into the spring and give this a new, new proper whirl. We know well enough what's going on, hopefully, presumably, that we should be able to, to fare, fare well with everything. No tutorial necessary, we'll be fine. The best use of my time seems to be in the early game, just uh, investing in trying to get a, a cluster of four potatoes grown so that I can get the, the super potato and make enough money to actually buy something at the shop afterwards. Become a super potato! I want the super potato! Maybe I gotta charge him up with more fertilizer than they currently have. Is that what you guys are waiting for? There! You gotta make sure they're like properly fertilized to get all that out of it. Do you know what? It's probably worth it to abandon that singular potato. I should have never cropped it, uh, planted it. So that I could instead run out and go work on gaining some some nice like early game bonuses here. Defend your crops now, get around to it. Till soil and sometimes expands farmable area. Doubles crop ghost growth rate. The fact that the pig could now and again expand my total crop area seems huge. That seems absolutely worth investing in because then then I'll, I'll be able to just like slowly without having to invest in hundred dollar pickaxes just make a larger and larger farm so I, I feel like that's a great one to have on my side especially in the early game like this because if i have them so early that just means there'll be that much more time in the game in which he can work towards specifically improving things for me not too happy about taking that early damage every individual hit taken well, that was even stupider, is pretty debilitating in this game. Because it hearts, which very cutely are shaped like little turnips or radishes or something, like rarely drop on their own. And they're quite expensive to buy in, in the shops in town. So it's best to just try to not take damage. As you would expect, taking damage it, bad. <laughs> Keeping yourself alive and not not risking things like that is good. This is weird, weird music playing. It's it's got a it's got a cool feel to it, you know. A turret, defend your crops. I I kind of want to run back and see if it's just auto doing its thing, or if I like, are they gonna kill it? If I'm not there defending it, mostly I just want to see, will they attack my turret? Oh, look at that. He's keeping things all tilled. He's expanding it for me. He's a good, he's a good guy. He's doing his job well. The turret, though? Oh, I have to plant the turret. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. The turret acts like you have to contribute a part of your farm to it, which is really neat. There's, like, an interesting trade-off going on there. 
Health only costs one rose. They made it a lot cheaper. It was three before, which was just brutal. Flirt with a stranger is Borage your name. Increase relationship. Receive a drone. Follows you and attacks sometimes. If I want to work towards marrying a character. Rue, I could flirt with them. Okay, this, this part of the game looks quite different, actually. There's a lot less going on. Oh god, they're like sacrificing. Can I grab that heart? Darn. You receive health. For, for flirting. Ah, uh, but they're like doing weird ritual stuff on that carrot there. Concerns me a little bit. I've tried the butcher's knife once. It does this weird arc when you throw it and it's really hard to aim. I did not like it very much. The rusty SMG. Spray and pray. I think getting uh, desert seeds. I don't really need or want desert seeds immediately. I could get the cleaver just to kind of show you guys how the cleaver works. Ooh, and they made a fancier thing for, like, foraging an upgrade. That's that's not the temporary art anymore, either. The, the cleaver is tough to use, in, in my own personal opinion here. What is going on? What, the things have kind of changed a little bit with, like, the tilled earth. Ooh, I wasn't looking to immediately plant that. Uh, I guess, I guess I'm gonna though, I guess I'll stick it up in a corner since I don't really know what else to do with it. I don't know how long it'll like last or anything like that. Yeah, he's like digging around down there. What is, what is it doing? What's happening when you're digging things? Like he's digging around in things that I feel that I have already tilled. So I don't entirely know what he's doing. He's adding more expansions again already. Oh, maybe they improved the... This thing flies way faster than it did in the previous build. Oh, it's a million times easier to use. Because honestly, it sucked before. <laughs> it was way too difficult. Either that or I was just like bad at it or whatever. But I, for the life of me, could not seem to make it work. I meant to plant the roses. That was a bit of a mistake. That's fine. I'll get things planted up, I guess. I can, I can hopefully turn up a an extra cabbage seed oh it's still it's still relatively tough to use the closer you are when you throw it's a little bit easier to like get right oh the turret's pretty useful it's got a good range on it 15 damage is like pretty decent all right the cleaver is still hard to use but i i like it better than i used to i'm glad i gave it a second chance Nice! That guy grew up very quickly. Oh, is he like double tilling the earth or something? Because it's like immediately ready to be planted in again. The tutorial had a little something off to the side here where you could go get a, like a free set of seeds. Hmm. This is just kind of similar to what we were seeing to the to the right. I don't know. I don't know if this is actually like more difficult of enemies or not. I, I, it's hard to say for sure. Wood chipper turns enemies into fertilizer. Sure, I'll, I'll quickly pick that up. Uh, then I should probably get back to the crops and, and worry more about, oh god, okay. This is taking too long. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm probably losing so many more crops than I meant to. You die, damn you. Okay, choose. Weed whacker, cut weeds faster. Turrets and drones fire faster. Yeah, sure, I'll enhance that. I don't know what that monster was. Spooky. Don't like it. Probably took way too much. Oh, good. It doesn't seem like any slugs came in and, and really messed up my crops. I don't, it doesn't look like I particular like I lost anything specifically yet. They're still on route. So I, I kind of got lucky there. I thought I was going to come back to like eight slugs eating every last thing that I had. Hey, they changed the look of the bombing guys a little bit, I think. Look a little bit more angry overall. Skulking around with his, like, eye patch and his peg leg. It's pretty silly. The little pirate, pirate style rabbits. Aw, oh, dang it. I thought I, I thought I would be able to more reliably, like, one shot. One shot the rabbits with this, this item. I guess it's probably in my best interest to start harvesting the things that are prepared before I risk losing them or anything like that. I managed to get away with one single rose. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
If you grow a little bit faster, then I could heal and flirt. Oh, it's so close to being ready. That's a shame. I still have my one at least, so I got something. Guns break after a day of use. You must buy a new one or make do with the DP shooter. So I'm back down to my regular old weapon. Weed Whacker, which is the thing that I, I just, like, turned down. Oh, it, it's three, three to flirt. Yeah, so it's not something I can do anyways. Instead, I'm just gonna buy the health. Even if I had two roses, you can only buy one per anyways. Okay. Plain Seeds. I probably want that. The Blunderbuss. Close Range deals two times damage. Or the Sniper Rifle. I've actually used both weapons in, in my previous attempt, but I'll, I'll show them off a little bit. I should pretty quickly run out and go try and earn more seeds. This stuff's really close to being done, though. There we go. If I just hang tight for, like, a second, this guy will be ready as well. Okay, now I can go and hunt uh, for more seeds. I'm gonna go back to, like, whatever this is, the swampy area. I don't know what we want to refer to the different areas as. Mess around. The sniper rifle is easily the best way to deal with these guys because you kind of have like shots that go through. You have like piercing damage or whatever we want to call it. It doesn't one shot kill everything, but pretty well nearly everything. Well, that was terribly done. I shouldn't try and one on one enemies like that, I guess. What am I doing? Jeez, that was poorly done. You can see that the enemies that are still, it doesn't work quite as well for the bats because they move around so much, but the enemies that are still in charge of stopping you from being able to access uh, one of these areas still see like this guy and now the rabbit, he has like a little flag over his head indicating that he's the one like defending this area. So like taking him out is how you're going to get access to that. And what is this? The sprinkler Oh, the, the turret waters nearby crops. That's awesome. I already got my turret uh, shooting extra fast and things like that. Uh, that's great for me. Oh, these guys are a pain in the ass with the sniper, actually, because you can't just, like, spray and pray the way it mentioned with the other, uh, the other weapon type that we didn't buy before. It's tough to get in there and get the exact precise shots on a tiny little skittish enemy like that. You end up trying to predict a little bit what movement it's going to make. Doesn't usually work out. I misjudged where the hitbox was going to be on that cliffside. That kind of sucks, actually. That was a, a crappy death to take. I thought I could hug the wall there and duck that bullet. So that was my fault. When I was playing off camera a little bit, uh, once you had survived to the next season, you got to visit the mayor. So I would like, I would like to play and visit the mayor for you guys to see. I'm gonna miss having that turret, and honestly, that pig was really great to have as well. So much for having the the practice, and and assuming that I would perform so much better. I guess there's the typical recording curse of like, you should expect to perform at your your worst possible day, like your lowest skill level, as soon as you turn on the recording and start trying to like narrate what you're doing. Super potato. I didn't even get a potato seed back that time. I got unlucky there, I guess. But hey, then there's no doubt about whether or not I should venture out further and go and go and claim benefits and things like that. I was gonna, I was gonna anyways, but now there's no doubt. Now it's like clearly the thing to do. Oh, it's so much easier to fight the bats one at a time like that. Golden treasure map. Patch fertilizer, planting crops of the same type together sometimes rewards fertilizer. And we have the double edge water and can water two plants at once. Oh, I love the sounds of that. I'm for sure going for the golden chest. I completely forget whether or not this is something I had done uh, in the last recording or if it was something I did after the recording session. But it's kind of a fun little thing to go mess around with. Oh, damn, he got that hit away on me. I think I had done it on recording previously, so if I screw this up, at least I at least I know that I've done it what right once. Oh, I still gotta I still gotta make it back there. Zigzag through all this stuff. Backup generator hold an extra tra a tractor. Not something I immediately expect to to need. 
it's good to have, I guess, but it's there's things I could have benefited from uh, much sooner than that specifically. Oh, you're just you're just a stray troublemaker. Damn it! That that particular uh, tree wasn't even tied to like guarding a specific thing. These bulls never are. They're just kind of always doing their own thing. Try to get rid of these damn annoying bats. I don't plan, uh, intend, <laughs> intend or plan to go back to to my field tonight. I'm just gonna stick it out here, try and take down as many of these guys as I can. Maybe free myself some pigeons, see what their deal is. I, I I've never had pigeons on my side. Oh, they opened up options. I was expecting to get them the way you would a pig or a cow. Rain cloud, double crop growth rate and water for 60 seconds. Anemacry, create and sow low valuable seeds in all available patches. With a little, little like, pigeon delivery service going on there, I like it. Uh, I guess I'll save that for like the next day. It seems like it'll be like a strong way to start the next day. I don't know, oh, well, that was a terrible mistake. I was just thinking right away it was not worth my time to uh, attack that once more. Pretend that run didn't happen, because it started before ended before it barely even started. Well, same old super potato strategy that I've been using the whole time. Oh, I was able to dish out so much fertilizer so quickly that he's like, he fused much more rapidly than he normally does. Usually he fuses after they're all at their like, excitable stage where they're all jumping around and dancing and being happy and things like that. Oh, he's getting all geared up. You'd see him wiggling around, excited little Tato. Oh, I should have fertilized him a little bit extra. Once he fused, he needed to be re-fertilized to get the proper, like, money bonus. So he was only worth, like, 36 instead of 40-some. That's, uh, that's a shame. That's... I missed out there. I'm kind of peeling through quite a few little, uh, camps all at once here. I'm making pretty, like, steady progress. A lot of them are the sort of things where it's defended by, like, one rabbit and one tree. So suddenly I have, like a pretty damn good supply of like pickaxes and things like that which pickaxes are so expensive that it's a, it's a great thing to find uh, I really gotta find one of those ones where it's like a pen housing animals though because getting getting farm animals is like one of the biggest benefits that you can really have in this game so I should I should put a focus on that but it's about to be morning very shortly so I might have missed my chance. Uh, in this particular outing into the wilderness here. Oh, here's one right here. Totally missed my chance. Unless I can kill these guys in like one second. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Ah, uh, 36. A bit, a bit weak. The blunderbuss and the jackrabbit. I can't actually afford either of those. Which is a bit of a shame. Desert and plains. Now, yeah, I'll, I'll buy some plains seeds. I got the space that I can make this just the tiniest bit wider and get like two super plants going at once. So I feel like that'll be uh, worth my time. I'll get cabbage and corn all jacked up. Ooh, I'm energized. I don't really know when or why that happens. It's when you do a lot of tilling in a row or a lot of activity in a row or something. But your character gets all fired up and then you can like complete these little chore style tasks much more quickly than normal. It's, uh, it's a good thing to take advantage of when it comes up. Now I'm gonna get all my roses planted. Nicely done. Dish out all the fertilizer. That's fine. I'll make do with the pea shooter. I don't need any more than that. I'm a champ. These cabbages are growing crazy quickly. See, he's all excited and ready to go. But I shouldn't harvest him until I've had a chance to feed him that extra little bit of fertilizer, it'll make it worth that much more. See there, now I got him all glowing with the fertilizer. So if I harvest him now, it'll be worth, worth some extra green. Give some to the corn as well, similar thing, give him a little bit of a supercharge. And I might as well just plant all the last of these seeds that I'm sitting on. Make this day a little bit more about earning the money, I guess actually uh, looking after my crops rather than disappearing into the the weird the like wastelandy area whatever it is 
and fighting all these freaky mutant rabbits with their laser guns. These things are really holding out on me in the fertilizer. I just killed like a dozen enemies without a single one of them dropping any fertilizer on me. I feel like I got really uh, short-changed on that. Come on, Rose. Ah, it needs to be watered. It's probably not gonna grow in time then. I still managed to get away with three, so I could I could look into doing a little bit of flirting. This one, this character, this stranger, heals me and uh, move speed increase. Oh no, it's different. It randomizes. That's totally not what she was offering up previously. Micro missile mod. All guns fire a missile. Well, Borage, you're the one I'm getting getting to be acquainted with then, because I like the sounds of that. Stats up, increase farming and fighting stat by two. How do I look at just like my stats? <laughs> Tab, this allows me to see like the things that I have. Uh, there's not a lot to actually be viewed for stats currently. That's in progress, it would seem. Uh, I'll let you guys see what the blunderbuss looks like in action. I'll grab a few more planes, seeds, but I think I'm gonna go out more aggressively working to like uh, fight things off this time. Like I'll, I'll go back out and try and free some of those animals and things like that. Oh, I should probably make sure these fully grow first before I abandon them. Alright, there we have it. I'll go try to acquire money out here by like foraging for blueberries or anything like that. Now you guys can see how fun the blunderbuss could be. It's obviously the most effective like point blank. Oh, that was my missile. That was the cool missile there. The turret or the removing weed chicken is also very useful to have actually. Getting rid of the weeds is nice, and I like having the animal. The turret's great too, but I don't know, this is where this is where I'm choosing to invest things on this particular run. This is like a blue the blueberry patch that I was actively looking for. Oh god! Oh, that bee was coming up on me so close! I was waiting, I was waiting for it to, to recharge the cooldown on my weapon, I mean. I was so close to being able to use it again. Whoa! Big dish out of fertilizer there. It's, it's awesome when you the blunderbuss shot kind of drags an enemy along like that, does all the extra damage. Golden chest map, I guess I'm going for it, even though I'm quite wounded. It's funny that the missiles are little butterflies that it sends out. Uh, but I, I, guess, I guess I'm going for it on the off chance that it rewards something extra special. I could really benefit from, from the extra extra whatever it is that it supplies and because it's such a massive enemy it should be easy to take out with a blunderbuss like that a gourd blocks bullets oh i got a nice like floating ally to to help protect me a little bit the blunderbuss is really effective for mowing through things like the bats apparently turrets and drones i didn't grab the turret increased chance of seed drop when harvesting, since I don't have a turret or drone right now, that seems like the wiser place to be investing. I should... Oh, I wonder if I should be trying to plant a rose so that I could take... I don't know, it's too late for that, I think. Oh, no, but I'm about to get sucked into it without uh, having any real say in it. And we got some cool, like, boss battle music leading me into it. Yeah, I don't really have a say in it. So I guess if I'm bit getting sucked into this here, yeah, you remove remove those weeds for me, dude, because I would really like to plant a rose, switch to rose mode. I let way too many enemies build up here. Rose, rose. Okay, all you slugs and everything, stay the hell away from that. It's the only thing I got. It's the only thing that might actually keep me going through this. I can't risk these slugs, like, eating their way through. He's just laying eggs all over the place. The boss battle music is funky. I like it. It's weird. It's unique, though. <laughs> I don't know. It's, like, not catchy or anything. But I like that I, I cannot think of anything else I've heard that reminds me of it. So I'd say that's a, a pretty good claim to have for your boss music. Come on, missiles, do your job. Help me blast through the mantra pod. I would really, really love to make it through this. 
This is the third night the way I think it's meant to be. I feel like it might have been a weird mistake that the, the boss was showing up on the second night previously. Oh, this bullet hell stuff is stressing me out. Must keep slugs away from Rose. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> it's the only thing I have planted. It's the only thing I have to concern myself with right now. Where is the boss? Where did he run off to? I really desperately wanted to finish that guy off. Oh, there's still plenty of time to. I got way too close to that rabbit and his bullet. Okay, I don't even have to worry about protecting anything in particular anymore. Where the hell are you, dude? No! He was dead and I didn't even know when he dropped health. I didn't get the health. That sucks. That would have been so good to have. Shoot. I got kind of, I got kind of robbed there. Well, hopefully with all my eggs and blueberries and everything like that, I'll have enough money to like grab, uh, grab some upgrades still. 151. It's pretty good. Made off with a decent amount. Take the heal. Nice. It did open up the access for me, same as it did before. It's just that there's more detail added into it. It's a much more glorious looking area. Lolo Lalo. Harvest rating seven. The town stat is very full. I somehow managed to harvest enough food for them. I you get like a ton of benefits, so a bunch of my stats are up now. Uh, you get a bunch of this stuff for free: bridge, bridge repair, a heal, blood rain, fertilize all crops to their maximum amount, cornucopia. I don't even know what that was for. What that does. Rake Loot Magnet. That's really useful. You get a big, nice celebration. You get access to a new area where you can go and buy tractors. They're relatively expensive. Sprinkler. Uh, crops in an area drop a seed. Trees have a small chance of dropping a seed. All that. So we've, we've, I think we've possibly seen both of those before. And there's a gambling area. It costs a thousand. It's very expensive to go for a gamble. Don't have the roses needed to uh, satisfy anyone else's interests. A flying squirrel, chance to deal triple damage and drop a seed. I have not ever used this one. What the hell? Okay, you can let it charge up a little bit though. It charges up to three because I wasn't, I was like, is that the rate that this is permanently going to be firing at? Because that's like excessive. That's way more than I'm ever going to end up needing. I will try to go repair a bridge. I'm glad I got to show off the mayor thing at the very least. I'll try to go repair a bridge so we can show off a, a little bit of like a new area. Yeah, I'll grab, I'll plant some corns real quick. Uh, but I, I didn't really like clear that other area fully, which is totally a thing that you can do is like, actually, it, like things aren't responding over there where I was doing my, my missions before. Do you know what? I, I should probably uh, expand further over this way where it's a little bit closer to the watering hole. This might be a, a money focused run, I guess. Just kind of shaping up that way, it would seem. Hand out as much fertilizer as I can. Flying squirrel! Oh, damn it, it ducked away. Now you guys can see these like more dangerous enemy types and stuff too. Oh god, that guy that guy's had so much health, it's insane. It's kind of uh spooky, sketchy. Uh with with my with my level up, you can see that I have way more uh not health, farming abilities. Like I, I have way more waters available to me, things like that that I didn't have before. So that's a nice nice big benefit to have. Wow. I thought these guys had a little bit of, like, homing to them. I guess not. I guess I legit have to aim. So uh, <laughs> I'll try to put more focus in where I'm actually pointing these. Beans? I don't have any beans yet. I'll plant myself some beans. Oh, I like that gold is kind of like golden beans. That, that was uh, not really in the game before. I feel like it was either I was very unobservant or it was lit just legit just like gold coins before, which is boring. This is actually going so well. I might immediately abandon it and go go spend some more time out in in my little wilderness area there, uh, out to the to the east and try and clear a little bit more of it. I should have used my blood my blood thing and done like the the max fertilizer thing. 
right away to everything while while I had so many different things planted at once. The flying squirrel's a little bit challenging to use as a weapon, honestly. It's it's weird having to wait for it to like charge up and then all of a sudden you burn through the projectiles more quickly than you, you would want. Harvest! Harvest! Grab it! <laughs> you sucker! I harvested and now I'm bailing on it hard. I'm going out to do my own thing. Hey! The blueberries regrow! That is something I fully didn't expect. You can obviously see things aren't coming back. This area is pretty barren. I'm almost wondering... Ah, nah, here, here it is. I was like, damn, did it, like, empty out because I'm too far in the game? Or maybe because it's the summer now? Maybe it's, like, a spring-only thing? Uh, it looks like Free and the Flamingo just grants you roses? I wasn't sure what would happen there. Rose seeds, I should say. The cow waters things, the pig can expand your area. Hmm, I like having the watering, damn it. I was over there running to try and grab the heart that dropped because it happened so rarely. I got all overly excited about it and I got caught because of it. Waters crops, I want the crop watering. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna invest in. It's so nice to have, to have someone take care of that for me. Nice. It's a, it's a difficult chore to stay on top of, you know, because sometimes you run out to go deal with enemies that have kind of gone beyond your, like, not, not necessarily grasp, but, like, just an, you gotta chase them down a little bit, because you know you're, like, a hit away from killing them, so you're like, I gotta knock those guys down. You run after them, and it's too late. Or you run after them, and you're just neglecting your, your farming duties more accurately. The shotgun, and just so we can see what the deal is with upgrading a weapon, I'm gonna upgrade it. More bullets, it says. All these different, uh, seeds. I could double invest in... Ha, uh, do you know what? I'll, I'll grab a bunch more of the plain seeds again. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine by me. I was wondering if I should invest in the bridge and go to one of the areas that needs, like, the double bridge investment, you know? But that's not what I'm gonna worry about for right now. I'm gonna get as much stuff planted as quickly as I can, and I think I'm immediately gonna use, like, the max fertilizer thing. Try and get as much things planted that'll have the... See, there's the energized again. As much things planted that are gonna have the ability to... Flourish and grow. Damn it, I didn't realize I had a pickaxe. Didn't mean to use it there. That's fine. Cow, what you doing, man? Get in there and do some extra water in for me, would ya? I could, I, could, I could use all hands on deck here. Oh, I totally meant to plant roses more than I did. That's fine. Max fertilizer dished out for everything. Alright, give me something to shoot. Ba ba! Ba ba! Ba ba! Ooh, that's pretty fun to use. <laughs> And the recharge on it isn't bad. You can see that it's like recharging the same as the last thing I, I just was using was. That's solid. I dig it. I like what I'm seeing. The, the scroll that I used was crazy effective. Ah, a good thing about coming back to a game like this is that I can show I'm not totally inept at everything that I do. Because I'm sure it came across that way a little bit in the last... In the last video, <laughs> things did not go well. And anyone who only chooses to watch the first 15 minutes of this video, again, it's gonna look like I'm just atrociously bad at games. I like that now I have my chicken and my cow walking around doing their thing. They're helping out big time. Pitching in, doing a lot of the chores for me that I don't want to do. Oh, the char- allowing the shotgun to charge up is way better than the flying squirrel, because once it charges up, it's actually, like, very effective, and it has so many charges that you can just go wild with it. And it's, like, easier to aim, it'll hit multiple enemies at once. I'm digging the, the shotgun way more, way, way, way more than what I was using last time. It's gonna be awesome for blasting through enemies like this. Things that are grouped up like that. They're just waiting to get shotgunned. They're just asking for it. Look at that. It's a joke. Man, this shotgun's actually super fun. This is the first time I've actually used it, I think. I'm gonna head down south because I'm pretty sure there's a bridge to repair that only costs one. 
So, repaired bridge. This is gonna be the first time I'm going to this area. What the shit is going on? There's some sort of shotgun enemy out there, or sniper rifle enemy out there that was going after me. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to get involved. Are these regular rabbits, or are they like... I don't think they're improved rabbits or anything like that. Oh my god, I gotta keep a, a eye out for that guy. He's going across the entire map. But I guess once you've cleared out an entire area and it doesn't respawn, you have to invest in new areas. So it's not necessarily entirely new enemies, but it is entirely new opportunities to like acquire new items and things like that. So I guess that's the main benefit. Here's the sniper rifle based clown who was going after me. What a jerk that guy was. Oh, look at this goofy little like lizard creature. Oh wait, I'm just killing random enemies. I gotta I gotta worry much more about trying to fight those little like forts. I gotta take out a few of those and try and gain some benefits. Oh god, we got like a panther. Oh that was his crazy claw based attack, I'm guessing. It was like very swipey in nature. Oh he disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, he teleports! He doesn't just go invisible, he teleports! Crap! That was so close to uncovering that one, too! Damn! Damn you! I wanted to see what it was all about! Ugh, the jackrabbit was great, I probably shouldn't do it again. Jungle seeds, maybe that's newly available because of what I was just doing. Ah, I wanted to upgrade this guy beyond acquaintance. I'm gonna need one more rose for that. I could, I could invest there. I think I might as well wait. Jungle seeds. I guess I'm doing it. Damn it. I really, really wanted some rose seeds. We'll see what the upgrade upgraded SMG looks like. And what do you know? I still have enough to upgrade a little bit more. I got like chili peppers and things going on now. I'll buy one health just to keep this alive. Keep the run going, so it's not a total crapshoot, not a total write-off. Chiles! Holy crap, okay. Uh, it's kind of nice <laughs> switching to something that doesn't have to charge up. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about, where you gotta chase, you gotta like chase an enemy down a little bit, because they're getting a little too close. Oh! That was totally- he had the little flag over his head. That was still the guy who was defending the thing on the south side over there. I should still totally try and get back there and finish that off. That- he followed me, so he's not actually the type of enemy that comes chasing after your- your crops, I guess. There was some sort of thought I was in the middle of that I completely have lost track of now. With all of this that I'm working on. This game is very effective at distracting you. Right, I want to go venture out again after these things are grown, because I really want to grow a couple more rose plants. It would be awesome to, I don't know if acquaintance, acquaintance probably is a step, two steps before marriage, your acquaintance to dating to, to marriage or something like that. So I might not do it in this run. I, that would be very, Insane if I somehow managed to advance that much from uh, all my previous attempts improve that much from previous attempts I should say I like just running circles around those guys and trying to do something crazy Just regular looking flowers there. Oh that guy was worth a lot of money. He was all jazzed up Full of full of fertilizer pumped full of shit realistically is that thing just like a sunflower? I think it came from the jungle plant seeds, but I really don't know what he's gonna end up being when he like is properly grown. Oh, <laughs> we're getting another boss showdown here, which I wasn't expecting so soon. Oh, where'd you take me? Where did I just go? Oh god, okay, the soul crusher. It's funny, soul, like the sun kind of soul. Well, I'm gonna harvest that guy, and now I got nothing to worry about except taking you down, you dirty, dirty crusher. I'd like to see you try and make hell with your bullets. I got your number, man. You're taking you down's my number one priority. Hey, we got like upgraded rabbits, I think. Some of them are wearing, wearing a little bandanas, little Rambo bandanas. My theory is that they deal extra, or have more health. They deal extra damage, that would suck. Because he really did not have a lot of health to work with. Oh god, he's got a stage two! 
These seemed a little weak. Seemed a little easy to deal with. This is like the ideal weapon to fight this guy with, though, because even when it's at its, like, maximum spraying, it still is, like, not missing at all. Oh, wow. Okay. The step up from the previous boss to this one is insanity. <laughs> this guy's way more difficult. The last one is such a joke in comparison. I gotta try and hug in as close as I feel comfortable with, though, to, to make sure as many of these bullets are landing as possible. You just stay on the move in this game. You can fare a lot better. Oh, I didn't. I don't know if it really makes sense with the spring. Something about bugs in the spring, I'm sure, is a thing. But it's funny that the summer boss is the sun. Or at least this version of the sun. It's kind of like a silly take on it. Well, managed to put him down pretty effectively. I'm going to run back down here. Oh, oh it, I, I got to, like, finish the boss wave. I wanted to run back down and finish taking that thing. I think I might have finished it when that cat thing chased me down. That might have been it. That might have been the last step of, of like, putting an end to that. Yeah, but if I can't run down there and, like, properly finish it off... Uh, oh, it's rice. All right, well, plant all this rice before I get carried away. Use a bunch of fertilizer on it. Get them in good shape so I can just, like, finish that off as soon as I come back. Some guaranteed money nice and early on there. The assault rifle or the jackrabbit. Ah, we'll give the assault rifle a whirl. And Plains Seeds is most likely to have roses? Maybe they never have roses. You might have, you might have to go, like, brave... Oh, God, okay, we completed another season. That makes sense. You might have to go brave the outer frontier to go get the roses. I'm seeming like that's the case. Harvest rating? I think I harvested quite a bit. Max full. So that probably means the amount of rewards you get probably have to do with the amount of full that everyone is. 17 is my max water. Turrets and drones, I don't have turrets and drones. A, a freebie rose, a health, which is good. The cornucopias, which I don't remotely know what they do. Expand farmable land, cut weeds and till all soil. And I get a drone. Now I do properly have a drone. Thank you guys for celebrating how great I am. I knew it. Now you guys get to know it too. My number one priority here in the fall is going to be getting out there and uh, getting rose seeds for myself. I kind of have to finish taking care of this guy first, though. I just want to see what this looks like. Ah, yeah, that looks like it'll be good and effective. How much damage you deal? 28 per round. Pretty effective, I'd say. This is going really slow. I was hoping that you would grow much faster than you currently are. Oh, it's nice how far away I'm actually pulling in fertilizer from. I knew that that was a thing that I was doing. It was the first time I properly paid attention to how far away it's happening from. Let's see when this guy drops it. Yeah, look at that. I was halfway across the screen and it still got drawn into me. Maybe this guy can provide further examples? Oh, yeah. Makes it really hard to miss things, which actually goes such a long way in this particular game. Like... It kind of sucks that things like your fertilizer and health and all that will fade. So if you miss out on that, it's pretty brutal. Alright, finally going back down here. Ignore all that other stuff. No bosses, none of that to worry about. I just want to take out the, the... Go claim the rewards of those areas that I had already done the effort of destroying. Hopefully they didn't, like, reclaim themselves or something. Laser tracker, increased turret and drone range. Chicken eggs give seeds. Uh, cool. I'll grab that. I'm bursting with seeds right now. I gotta see if I can find out where that last little thing was. Is none of, none of that things I can grab for free money? I thought they would kind of act like blueberries in a similar manner that I could just reach in there and, and grab what I needed. Uh... I've caused a little too much havoc down here, I think. I think I maybe need to deal with it before I return back to the, the main home area. I was trying to shoot my own drone there. Rot soldier. Harvesting a crop creates a root soldier. An avian placenta. Chicken eggs give fertilizer. Basically, I'm just jacking up my chicken eggs. These are the best damn eggs you've ever seen. Oh, here it is. I finally was able to go and harvest 
the thing that I killed the cat for like an entire season ago. We got a weird piranha plant thing going on here. Eee! Okay, 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 okay. Backed up against the wall there is a terrible place to be. Get out, get, keep moving. I have, I've made a terrible mistake. I have awoken way too many enemies and uh, the dangers are very real. I just gotta kill it all. Go commit even harder to the offensive, apparently, is the strategy I'm going with. That's the only way I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, more rose seeds. Okay, I can plant roses like crazy. I just gotta live to the morning. <laughs> and then once, once that comes, I can potentially plant enough roses to, like, build a happy, healthy relationship. We'll be able to go straight from acquaintances to happily married. That's like the last thing I would love to show off in this particular run. But since I've never achieved it before, I don't know how far away I am from like accomplishing that as a task. So maybe, maybe that's a pipe dream. Maybe I wasn't meant for marriage, you know? Maybe I'm meant to be alone. But god damn it, you gotta put yourself out there. You gotta try. <laughs> you gotta find love. If you don't, if you just stay at home and tend to your crops all day, you'll never know. Damn, that was a- that sucked I got hurt once more at the end. I'm like near harvesting an extra health or something there. I don't even hardly know what's going on there. But I'm very curious. Is that something I can plant? Can I plant extra health for myself? I gotta scroll through what I got here. Roses are regular- oh, I maxed out the amount of roses I'm holding. That's- a little bit disappointing. Health costs more than ever. It's gonna cost maybe nine, because maybe it would cost four than five, and I'm already holding one, and I gotta plant eight. You better have a good. Uh, I don't even like. I don't like either of those weapons, really. Damn it. Tundra seeds. But I'm literally just gonna focus all of my efforts on. Do you know what? I can use the pigeon to, to, uh, quickly, it, it has the, it was like the earthquake, it was the chance of expanding, uh, and it t tilled everything and removed the weeds or whatever, so that was honestly perfect. Uh, that was like exactly what I needed to make this a, a little bit quicker of a process. The pea shooter's not terrible, I guess, it's just a little bit weak, so I gotta try and plant a few things. Other than my roses, I would like to get out of this with some money. Invest, invest in my future a little bit more than marriage. I gotta be self-sufficient, you know? I can't entirely just rely on my soon-to-be wonderful husband to provide for me. I want to remain independent as much as possible. Sometimes I forget that I have the little butterfly missiles, and then they squeak out and do their thing. Plus I got that drone helping me out these days too. Pretty solid uh, team I got going on here. Man, how many times has that gourd saved me without noticing? Probably a few. In the first video I was talking about 2x2 two two planting strategies and it just occurred to me, it doesn't do anything in this game. I was thinking about the types of games where you can't actually step on your plants. Here I can totally just walk right over top of my plants so it doesn't matter. I think the 2x2 two two thing that the like strategy guide or whatever I would call it was recommending is strictly for the purpose of like having these enhanced plants. No, I didn't see it and I didn't realize I was so hurt. I had so many roses planted. My darling will never be married now. Damn, that's disappointing. That's so... That's such a bummer. But, I was able to show off so much more of the game this time around. There's way more to see here than I may have originally been able to show, like, let alone the assets that are now properly implemented in the game. Just like content-wise and everything, I was able to show a lot more of what's going on. So I can feel good about that. I don't plan to make a series, this was just kind of like building on the mistakes of yesterday, and, and... There you go. There. I, I feel much better about this video overall. I, it was a, a good run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.